welcome back to the channel everybody as you can probably tell by the thumbnail we are doing another video on a medical student quitting medical school now as usual i don't watch this video before i do this whole video so i have no idea what this person is going to say so hopefully it's not terrible and for those of you who are new around here my name is michael aka dr Chilini, and i'm a board certified diagnostic and interventional radiologist in new jersey so let's get into this video with ruri hopefully i'm saying that correctly and uh see what she has to say about quitting med school let's go You know, I really can't believe I'm actually doing another one of these videos as this is the, what, fourth video in the last month or so, but there must be something in the water and let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so this is Ruri or Ruri Ohama and she is a first year med student in Turkey. And she says, if you are interested in which ethnicity do I have, I'm mixed Japanese and Turkish, blah, blah, blah. I was born in Japan, grew up in Turkey, but I visit Japan every year. Both of these languages are my mother's languages, Japanese and Turkish, but I speak four languages fluently, Japanese, Turkish, German, and English. I'm jealous because I speak one language in like 1% of Croatian and I wish I spoke another language. She's going to continue to post. She plans on doing productivity related videos going forward. So I don't know anything about Rory. I don't even know if I'm saying her name correctly. She has 289,000 subscribers that watch this video. And this video has 115,000 views so far. So I'm very curious to see what it's all about. So I'll shut up and get to the video. If you have been following this channel for a while, and if you have ever watched my med school vlogs, you might think that, oh, I knew that because this girl was so unmotivated to go to med school and she was doing all of the things outside of med school, like traveling, eating a lot of food, and she wasn't really talking about the lectures. But that's what I like to do. So we're on the same page so far. I'm not quitting medicine. I'm quitting my med school. We need to firstly talk about why I took a break from med school in the first place. During the time that I was taking a break from med school, I was preparing myself for medical school admission test of Italy. So she's Japanese and Turkish, and I think she lived in Turkey. So I wonder if she was trying to not go to med school in Turkey and go to med school in Italy, which is what it sounds like. Someone in the comments below who knows what they're talking about, please fill me in. Because of COVID, and also because of some personal like reasons, I didn't slash couldn't go to Italy and take the exam. I really, I genuinely feel bad for anybody who's in school, like whether it be university, college, or med school or whatnot right now during this whole pandemic stuff because I feel like they really just got poor education during this time where everything had to be remote because at the end of the day, yes, online lectures are good, but like you have to have some personal connection and some chemistry with other people, especially when you're practicing medicine. So I feel, I, I really genuinely feel bad for a lot of these uh, students. If you watch my previous vlog, my Italy vlog, you know that I went for an exam, but I scored second highest out of 250-ish people, which is pretty impressive. I mean, I was pretty impressed. The test itself was pretty easy, not gonna lie. It was about like biology, chemistry, physics. Uh... Pretty easy, pretty easy stuff. Just toward the top one or two percent of the whole class. Pretty easy though. I think I'm gonna start med school in Rome either this month or next month. All right, let's, let's reel in a little bit here. Ruri, please comment below on this video and give me the rundown of what's going on. So she's in Turkish med school. She's always wanted to go to Italy for med school, which having recently been to Italy, totally understand that. I'd go there too. She didn't get in the first time. Now she took the exam and got in and she's quitting med school in Turkey so that she can so that she can hold off finishing med school until she's in Italy. I don't know if she has to restart her first year or whatnot, but this seems like a lot of delays. And when you're in medicine, you're already delaying your life as it is. Like, look at me. It was a very long path to finish med school and medical training. And anytime you delay that, you're basically just losing out on a lot. Let's just put it that way. I mean, some people don't care though, you know? So I guess that's what she's doing. I'm not really sure, but this is just kind of what I've gathered from watching this video so far. I like diversity. I like different ways of thinking. I like to learn and I like to get out of my comfort zone. And I always wanted to live in a country that is neither Turkey, neither Japan. I think it's a really, really great opportunity to expand my 
more vision and you know explore new things. I totally agree with everything she's saying here because my biggest thing is when you finish high school and want to go to college, the best thing for you is to just go somewhere different, whether it be in another state, whether it be in another country or whatnot. Just get away from your hometown. You'll meet a lot of different people. You'll learn a lot. You'll make a lot of close friends from many different parts of the world. And that's the best way to kind of expand your horizon. I always say the best thing that ever happened to me was moving away for college and moving to New York City after college. Those two things completely changed my life for the better. I will say though, the hardest things for you to do is to leave the comfort zone of your hometown or whatnot. But it really is imperative to kind of see other things, see other cultures and get a different perspective on life. I wonder if she would consider going to a US medical school. Ruri, comment below. I, I, I really think I'm not saying her name correctly though. Ruri? I don't know. I cannot pronounce it. Hopefully I'm saying it correctly. Let's talk about the rich parents factor. Because I'm gonna study in a private uni, a lot of people think that oh it's because you have rich parents it's it's nice to be have a rich parents because it's easier to get private unis and oh if i would had if i had rich parents i would i would go there too girl i'm gonna pay all of the tuition fee by my own also the rent also the living costs by my own my family might help with the rent i'm currently able to afford all of them by myself with this channel with the amount of the money that I make by my own. That is awesome. So she's doing this YouTube channel. She has like a little more subscribers than I do, cranking out tons of income and can be able to afford her med school. Why didn't I do that in med school? I wouldn't have to worry about these stupid student loans if I just had this YouTube channel back then. I wish YouTube was like more of a thing 10 years ago. It's not fair. I'm jealous. But good for her. That's that's so badass. You know, I'm literally gonna pay my own tuition fee. It's not about rich parents. When I went to Italy last time, for an exam, I pay for my flight tickets, I pay for my hotels. I Actually, let's see how much the Italian med schools are. Let's see. I'm like actually curious to see how much they are different from the US. So she said she was going in Rome. This can't be true. This literally can't be true. Get out of here. Cost and financing of medical studies in Italy. The scholarship, oh wait, hold on, scholarship. 4,500 euros a year? That's like nothing compared to the crime that is the US medical school system completely destroying medical students of all their worth. 4,500 euros to USD is $5,082 a year. Someone sent me a message the other day saying Georgetown was like $100,000 a year. That is highway robbery and that's a crime. So it's $95,000 a year cheaper. I wish I could turn back time. I'd go to Italy too. I'm kind of upset. I could have definitely paid for medical school in Italy with my YouTube channel. She's doing it the right way. I did it the wrong way. But I wanna see how much doctors in Italy made. You know, we always go back to that. This is so interesting to me, seeing different countries and medical systems there. The average physician pay in Italy per year is 128,000 euros. So that's very similar to what it was in UK, significantly less than the US. So maybe that's why. But if you basically have $5,000 a year is like essentially free in terms of medicine. So if you're making that kind of salary after a very small tuition for medical school, I mean, it might actually be worth it. I guarantee knowing that she'll have to use this channel to pay for her graduate school or her medical school, she'll work twice as hard. That's just how your mind works. For some reason, you just like make it work. The reason why I want to do an Erasmus in Germany is that first needed language. I mean, I learned German every single day. I'm crying. So I really, I really want to use that language. What is an Erasmus? So I'm kind of confused. Now she's talking about going to a public university in Germany, but then also transferring to Italy. I don't know, she's like all over the place. But my current plan is to stay in Italy, do an Erasmus with Germany. I might work in Germany, I might work in Italy, I might work in Singapore. I might even move in the US, who knows? So I actually got a question from Instagram before asking, is it a betrayal for the country? I couldn't understand the question. Why would it be a betrayal for the country? I think they're basically saying, would you be betraying your own country of Turkey to not do medicine there and practice there? It's really scary to be honest because I'm not gonna have any of my family. I have to learn about the taxes and laws and everything, accounting and stuff in Italy too. That's a lot of work. Not only do you have to learn medicine, which is like 
by and large, hard as it is. Now she has to learn a whole new government, a whole new tax structure for YouTube and all that stuff. It's gonna be a lot. And the language, so let's not forget the language. You know, I didn't even really think about that. She's like, oh, I'll just go to Italy and uh, learn medicine. But then if you don't speak the language, how do you learn medicine when you don't know the language that they're teaching it into? Because medicine is a foreign language. So you have to learn medical language on top of Italian, on top of Italian medical language, that's, that's tough. But at the same time, I'm really excited because I know that it's gonna grow me as a person so, so much. And I think I'm gonna gain a lot of new perspectives. That's how I want to shape my life and I'm gonna shape my life in that way. I love this. She's not quitting med school, which I like. It's kind of a clickbaity title. However, the fact that she's doing all this to better herself, even though she knows how tough it's going to be, that speaks volumes about her as a person because that, I keep saying it, that is the hardest thing to do because the natural instinct is to go away from challenging yourself like that and being scared because it's hard to do that. But she's just going full blast into it. You know, hope it works out. I trust myself. We'll see how it goes. I'm very impressed. It's gonna be tough, but I'm thinking about filming every single experience that I'm gonna have in Italy. Like, you know, in a language-wise and cultural-wise and med school-wise, and I think it's gonna be really, really, really fun. I, of course, need to hustle a bit. That's the reality. If you want to do med school and YouTube at the same time and maintain a healthy lifestyle and social life, I'm sorry, but you need to hustle a bit. Hustle more than anybody else that is around you. I need. To I have to subscribe to her channel. She's saying some pretty profound things. She's very wise. And I want to see it because obviously you know my love for Italy after watching my Italy vlog like up here. I'm obsessed. I'm Italian. I want to go back to Italy like every month. So I'm going to be watching her vlogs if she vlogs about medical school in Italy. I like working, not gonna lie. You know, I make my own money. It gives me financial freedom and it's an awesome thing. But at the same time, I like partying. I like going out with my friends. I like to eat outside. I like to explore new countries and stuff. My motto when it comes to life is work hard, play hard. Wait, I'm, wait, I really like her. We think very similar. I mean, obviously I've never met her in my life. Totally would, we should do a collab together. But everything she said so far in this whole video is very impressive to me. Not because it's how I think, but just because it's very wise. All right, so what are the takeaways from this video? I thought it was gonna be a quitting medical school video, which it turned out not to be, which is good because I'm, you know, getting a little nervous seeing all these med students quit. We need some doctors in the world, but she's not quitting med school for good. She's just quitting it in Turkey and then moving to Italy to finish med school and hopefully practicing there or maybe back in Turkey or whatnot. As always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you have another video like this or come across it, let me know as well and I will do a reaction video to it because they seem to be popular on YouTube for the last couple weeks. As always, make sure you smash the like, subscribe button, follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you don't already and I'll see you all on the next video. Oh, make sure you, uh, what emoji should we do? Let's do a slice of pizza emoji if you made it this far in the video. I'll be very impressed. All right, see you on the next one. Bye.